It is expected to be busy in the halls of the Capitol after the new year as a new budget cycle comes with lots of money to spend. And ahead of that cycle, we are sitting down with the lawmakers at the center of those decisions. Political reporter Will Keneally has more. Will? So we're starting on the Democratic side here. They're in the minority this year, which is nothing new, but they narrowly prevented Republicans this year from getting a supermajority. So with limited power, what are Democrats to do? Assembly Minority Leader Greta Neubauer has some ideas. In these times in which many people are pretty disillusioned with politics and government. And in the wake of that, Wisconsin Assembly Minority Leader Greta Neubauer says that the legislature has some work to do to show off how government can be a force for good and to work across the aisle. Sort of our second priority is working with Republicans wherever possible to get things done and to address some of our state's long-term challenges. She says that those long-term challenges include supporting local governments through state aid, something called Shared revenue. And I know that legislators from every kind of community, big and small, urban, rural, suburban, have been hearing um, about this challenge from their local governments. So I'm hopeful that we can make some progress there. She hopes that can be an area of agreement between Democrats and Republicans, who are led by the powerful Assembly Speaker Robin Voss. Voss and I have neighboring districts, um, which I think provides some helpful perspective and that we've, you know, got some shared concerns in our part of the state. The one thing Democrats will have to watch out for this session, just missing a few votes could turn the tide and give Republicans a supermajority. Our caucus is really clear that upholding the governor's vetoes is one of our top priorities for this session. Neubauer doesn't foresee any Democrats breaking ranks, but is making sure that they will have enough numbers to prevent a veto override throughout the session. And we know that means being in Madison quite a bit um, and being ready to be on the floor um, and remain unified in in upholding those vetoes. So that's on the Democratic side. We'll be speaking with Republican Assembly Speaker Robin Voss later this week about his priorities for the next year. Tune in Friday to hear our interview with him.